Good day everyone, Mr. Cargill here with our next AutoCAD video. Now for this video, we are going to look at how we go about completing this drawing right here. This drawing here, which is a right hand square thread that has a single start. All right, so now what the thread is, is basically, it's basically like a screw thread. All right, and we're going to apply some principles of helix and helices to draw this screw thread. All right, it's a square thread. That means that if you cut through the thread, the cross section that you see will end up looking like a square. It is similar to the spring, like this uh, spring right here. The only difference is that you would have this inner part um, that you would be seeing right here. All right, while the spring does not have that. Okay, so let's start. So to do this drawing, the information that you will be given is uh, the diameter for the large circle, the diameter for the small circle, and whether it's a square thread or a rectangular thread. If it's a rectangular thread, you'll have to be given both dimensions for the rectangle, but because it's a square thread, you don't need the dimensions. Uh, and we'll see why as we go through the drawing and also this arrow that tells us whether it's a right hand or a left hand thread so this arrow shows that this would be rotating in a clockwise direction zero one so on and so forth so we know that that this is a right hand square thread if it was rotating anti-clockwise or anti-clockwise like this it would be a left hand thread all right so we're going to be doing this drawing here so the first thing we're going to do let's see it was also cut when you're done it's going to look something um like this okay so the first thing we're going to do is to start with our circles because we'll be given that information let me just unfreeze of these circles all right so here what I did here was to draw two circles the first circle had a diameter of 110 so the large circle is a diameter of 110. So if I should measure this distance from here, from 9 here to 3, 110 millimeters. And from the small circle, at a diameter of 70. Right, so this has a diameter of 70. Right? What that means is that this has a radius of 35 and the large circle has a radius of 55. So that means that the distance between the small circle to the large circle is going to be 20. And that is important because we will need that information um, when we are going further, when we go further into the drawing. All right, so that is 20. All right, so there we go. Now, we are going to start actually drawing the square thread. So the first thing we do, we draw the two circles, then we divide the circle into 12. To divide the circle into 12 into AutoCAD, all we'd have to do is to draw this line here. Draw the line from 0 to 6 here. Draw the line from um three to nine and then you use the array command to divide it into 12 so that's my circle right so i would have the line here from zero to six like that and then the line from the three here so the vertical and the horizontal lines and i just click on them type array select array polar click in the center and then it would uh, divide my circle um equal into 12. All right, it wouldn't look like that. It would look like this actually. The reason why it looks like that is because it would actually look like this. That, that, here, array, polar, and just click in the center here. Have a circle, put it into two. Nice. All right, so now we have that, and then we number, a number like this, zero, one, two, three, in a clockwise direction because this is going clockwise, hence why it is a right-hand square helix. All right, so now to actually start drawing the helix, we're going to choose a place to start. Let me select a different layer. Let me select the zero layer. All right, so you can just choose anywhere to start. I'm going to start like right here. Okay. So now what we need now from here is to work out the pitch of our, to work out the pitch for our thread. Now, 
this is going to be two revolutions the, any question that you'll be given on this drawing will, will tell you the amount of revolutions that the thread makes so in this case this is going to make two revolutions this distance here as we had said from the small circle to the large circle is going to be 20 all right so the pitch this distance here from the small circle to the large circle is equal to half the pitch right so now the pitch would would be equal to one complete revolution all right so the fact that this is going to make two revolutions means that we're going to have two pitches so if 20 is half of one pitch that means that one pitch would be 40 and since we're going to have two pitches then the distance for that is going to be 80 millimeters because 80 is 2 times 40. so first let me do this let me draw a line draw a line from the here just to start and then i'm going to draw this across by 80. all right so i'm going to do that nice all right so from there now i am going to bring some lines across i'm going to bring some lines across from 11 10 9 all of those points one two three all of those points so let me use a different color so i'll be using different colors for the different lines so that i don't get confused so this layer is called large lines because these are the lines coming from the large circle what i'll do is from here i'll just draw a line no specific length all right so now let me bring this across here this line goes from 11 and goes through one that point there this goes from 10 to and goes to here then now we we'll draw a line from three that here then we're going to draw a next line that goes from this line now is going to go from eight it's going to go through four and it's right there select a line is going to eight it's going to go four at this point and this line from seven is going to go this line is going to come from seven go through five to this point here then the last line six that line goes so now i'm going to trim this and i'll change the color of this here Good. Let me just trim, trim up this a little bit. Cool. And let me just redraw this line. Zero. Nice. Lovely. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to divide this. We're going to divide. I'm going to divide this line. I'm going to divide that line into eight equal parts. Sorry, not eight equal parts. We're going to divide that line into 24. Why are we going to divide it into 24? We are going to divide it into 24 because 12 divisions is going to be equal to one other pitch. Okay? So 12 divisions is going to be equal to one pitch. So the fact that we have two pitches, we are going to need 24 divisions. Alright? So to divide this line, I'm just going to type divide. Then I'll click on this line and type 24 since I want to divide it into 24 and the different the different sorry the, the different division points comes up or the different division points come up so from here now if you're not seeing the division points just type DDP click on DDP type and then select any one of these and the size that you want it to be click OK and then it will come up so there are my points so what I'm going to do now is to, I'm just going to copy this line from here and bring it to all the different points, all the, all the 24 points. Just go all the way to 20. I could have copied like three or four or five at a time easier but you can also do this as well all 
right so we're going to number these here we're going to number them from zero so let me copy this is going to be zero we're just going to use the sixes and then we will um put in the correct figures i just do this because well might be a little bit easier Zero, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, seven. Okay. All right. Nice. Zero. Okay. So this now here is zero. Let's rename this. Zero. Here is. We'll click and change the value or here. Have to here and yeah. Turn off. Of, move this back up. Well, it is okay, and then it goes back to zero. Right. So now instead of numbering this again, I can just highlight all of these here and then I can just copy these and turn on back object. We'll copy them from bring them to that should be lovely. All right, so with that numbered. We are now going to draw our threads. All right, so let's go. So to, to draw the first one, let me select the helix there. All right, so what we're going to do is this. I'm going to highlight, all right, before I do that, let me do this. So I'm going to select spleen. And then after I select spleen, I'm going to start come here because this is point zero here. And then here, this is line zero. The so zero meets zero right here. And then one meets one here. So this line is coming from one. This line is coming from one as well. So one meets one there. Two meets two here. You can see this line actually does not come to Should be coming to this. So let me just move this in the wrong place. Let me just check if every nice. All right, so we select helix and then we come to zero. We start at zero, we never start at one, so we start. Very close up. Clean is there, there, one meets one, two meets two, three meets. Here, when, when I say three mean, meets three, what I'm, what I'm saying is that this horizontal line from three meets this vertical line from right at that point. Okay, so then four meets four here, five here is six base bar. Good, so we have that. No, I'm going to change the color of that line right there of six. 
and I'm going to tell you why I changed it. The reason why I changed it from there is because this from here to here, that, that, it, that this would be equal to one complete. This would be equal to half of a pitch. All right, this distance is 20, which is half of a pitch. So if our calculations are correct, it means that this distance should also be 20. From here, it should be 20. So let's measure and see if that is indeed 20. It is 20. All right, so now this shows us what we mean when we say a square. A square square. If we should look at the cross section of this, it would, it would look something like this. Select a line. So this is 20 so if we, sh if we should cut through this uh the third and we are to look at the cross section what we're going to see would look like a square because it will look something like this 20 it will come to there and then 20 up here and then 20 over perfect here the profile and you'll see that as we complete all right, so the next thing I'm going to do now is to copy this. I don't, since we're doing art, I don't need to draw it again. So I'll just copy this from here. I'm going to bring it to this point right here. Okay. Now I'm going to copy it again, but I need to know which line I'm going to bring it. So I'm, I'm going to need to bring it to that come from the right. No, it didn't. It came from the wrong point. Brought it around point. Okay, nice. So now this is zero here. So we need to change this color as well. This would represent one complete pitch. All right. Let's mark that so we know where that point is. Now I'm going to click on that line and I'm going to copy this here and also that here. Now this line here also six line. So we this six line special color this zero line we give a special color so now we're going to do the same thing for this six here i'm going to change that color the reason why i'm doing this is just so i don't get kind of adding adding the other point curves all right then i'm going to copy this from here and i'm going to bring it to this point right here there we go lovely all right so now we have that and we have those points for the large circle so now what we need is to get our point the small circle but before we get the points for the small circle right here where we are where we have this this point here and this point over here we're going to do something there so what we're going to do is this we're going to select spleen again and i'm going to draw a spleen line like this from here all right to this point here okay here to the, this point here and then from there now to this point right here okay just those two only those two all right so we'll have that so what i did again was to select the uh, spleen line start here that point there where this cyan line here meets this next white line right here and then so then i'm going to copy this let me copy all right and I'll copy from here and I'm going to bring it to this point over here. Remember, not this point, we don't need it at that point, we need it right here. Good. Now, similarly, from here, we're going to select helix, sorry, select spleen, and I'm going to click there to start. I'm going to click here and click there. Okay, space bar. Copy this. I will copy from here and bring it over here to that point good not here we don't need it here we just need it over this lovely so now what we're going to do so all these lines that we just drew these lines they came from the large circle so now we're going to draw some lines from the small circle so let me select small lines i call that layer small lines because these will be the lines that will come from the small circle so bring them across all the way to this here so that came from zero from here from 11 that goes through one i'm just let in sure i'm at the right point i am so from 11 that goes through one and come here the next point goes from 10 
through two and here the line this line is already at three all right so if i should draw a line from three it would be this same line so i don't need to do that so i'll just keep nine and three and come to eight and four so let me here clear that line goes through eight and four so on it there this line now goes through seven and five and then now this goes six comes over here Lovely. all right so now this is what we're going to do from here same way that we plot, plot these points for the large circle we're going to plot them for this one oh. for here cool in this case if we were plotting the lines from the small circle let me show you what that would look like helix sorry not helix let me select the spleen line all right so here the zero is right here and then zero is here so zero meets zero here all right so that would be our first point but we're not going to start from there why not i'll show you why if we start from there we're going to go to our next point here and then uh, our next point would be here then here so we would have a, a curve that would come like that this point here why would we not draw that because that would be behind all right that would be behind this uh this curve here it would be behind that so we're not going to be able to see it all right so we're not going to draw that and i'll show you over here it's like this curve right here so we we have this small curve here as you can see this would continue like it would kind of continue but you're not going to see that all right you're not going to see that and it's not like the helix that we have to represent it with broken lines the fact that this is like uh sorry not the helix like the spring it's the third so it would literally stop right here all right so you wouldn't continue it so that's why we're so what we're going to do here now is to start from three all right so instead of starting from zero we'll start from three because we'll be seeing that point from three and you'll see what i mean by that so let me select the helix all right and select spleen all right so now i'm going to start from right here all right so i'm going to start from right here so i'm going to start from right here i know so i'm going to click on this line right here i'm going to click on this line right here all right and then after i click on this line right here now at three so the next point is going to be four so this line from four magenta line from four meets this vertical line from four right here and then this line from five meets this line from five wait um, yeah, 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 it's correct meets this line from five right here okay. and then the line from six meets the line from six right at this here then we select space bar nice so what we're going to do with this now is we're going to copy it and we're going to bring it over here and click on that i'm going to select copy copy this from here over what we did down here we're going to need to do that for here as well so this time the distance behind here, we're not going to see that small curve so we're going to start from here and move in that direction so this is what we're going to do so i'm going to select spleen start from here at three then two two here so two meets two here one meets one here and the next one is there space bar so i'm going to click on this and i'm going to copy this here and bring it to this point there nice we have that good so now i'm going to select a line and what i'm going to do is to draw a line from here where this curve stops bring it to right over this so with that it means that this would be behind this here so this curve would be behind this line so we would not be seeing this as this portion of it wouldn't be seeing here 
here. Then this I'll just delete. Alright. What else we would not be seeing? We also would do the same thing for over here. Draw a line from this point to this point here. And then I will trim this. The R into enter. I'll trim this here. Good. So now over here. I'll do the same thing. Take a line. We'll draw a line from here to draw a line from here to here. Now I will trim this T R enter enter that here section and that section. Lovely. So now I'm going to okay. We also need some lines. We have to connect these points. We have to connect from here to here, All right? And then above here now, we're going to connect point two and all here. Connect that here, and we will connect here to this. No, I'm going to on. I'm going to freeze all the layers except the helix layer, and you're going to see a beautiful screw thread. Let's see that. Helix. A beautiful thread. Here we go. Let me just delete these. Two. Here we go. We have a beautiful thread making two components. Right? So that's how you would go about completing the construction of a right hand queer thread um, that makes two complete. Alright, so thank you for watching. I do hope that you found this video helpful. You can leave a comment. In the comment section below to let me know what videos you would like me to cover and also um let me know what you think about the video all right so thanks for watching and do have yourselves a wonderful day